Hi, my name is Stephen Woodward, a fourth year student here at The Ohio State University Department of Material Science and Engineering. And my name is Christian Wendling, a visiting scholar at The Ohio State University from the Technical University of Dortmund, Germany. Today we are demonstrating shearing with electromagnetic forming. We will punch out a little outline of the state of Ohio. To demonstrate the electromagnetic forming technique, we'll be using this magniform 16 kilojoule capacitor bag. This is our single turn shearing coil. The discharge current from the capacitor bank runs through the coil. This creates eddy currents in the blank, which causes a repulsion between the blank and the coil. This accelerates the blank into the shearing edge of the die. To set up the experiment, the blank is first placed in the center of the coil. The shearing die is placed on top, and the setup is attached securely using the clamp. To run the experiment, the capacitor bank is turned on, and the discharge energy is selected. We will use 3.2 kilojoules for this experiment. The capacitor bank is now activated, and we discharge. Following discharge of the capacitor bank, we remove the clamp and the shearing tool. We now have our spray and our electromagnetically sheared part. OH! IO! In conventional shearing, the shearing action occurs due to the closing motion of two sharp, closely adjoining edges, as seen in the video. The disadvantage to this process is that the blank is not really cut cleanly, but instead pulled apart by the opposing edges until fracture occurs. This leads to the formation of a burr, which is pointed out in the image by the red arrow. For shearing using electromagnetic forming, the shearing occurs due to the acceleration of the blank past the tool, which is shown here. Since the impact occurs at such a high velocity, there is a very clean cut with almost no burr. Another advantage is that no punch is needed, which leads to lower tooling costs. Also, because electromagnetic forming does not use static forces, a large costly press is not required.